Hi, everyone. Mike Nelson hey. here. Are Welcome you to the ready for some spirit? Huh? All right, all right, all right. Don't you want to hear it? The satellite of love has got poodles of spirit. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Give me an S. No. Give me an A. Mm, no. Give me, give me a T. Nuh-uh. Well, come on, you gotta give me something. Well, technically we don't, really. Oh, come on, just give me the other T. Well, what do we get out of it? Yeah. Uh, spirit? <laughs> uh, okay, well, why don't we do that? <laughs> okay. We can give you an M, an R, a small X, and one L. Hmm? So, Rixel, then. The satellite of love has got Rixel, Rixel, Rixel. Have you got as much <coughs> Rixel as us? I don't think so. We'll right you got back. the Rixel, Rixel. And you got yeah. uh, huh, huh, huh. This Sci Fi Channel Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode is brought to you by Wendy's Crispy Chicken Nuggets. At just 99 cents every day, they're bite for bite the best bed in chicken. So we're breaking up. Sorry. Well, we both love nuggets. And I love that about you. Because they're tender and juicy. The thing is, you're sweet and sour, and I'm honey mustard. Don't look at me. I'm barbecue. Wendy's 99 cent nuggets, the best bed in chicken. Hey, San Francisco, show us your feet. I have corns. They hurt. Will you show me your corns? <laughs> no! Don't be shy. This will help. Dr. Schull's Cushlin Gel Corn Remover. Nothing relieves pain faster or removes corns quicker. Feels great. I feel no pain at all. Going <laughs> dancing in these shoes. You think you can maybe do a pirouette for me? <laughs> Every stomach needs a first aid kit for all those unexpected bites and burns and cuts and scrapes and spills and other stomach irritations. Pepto-Bismol is first aid for stomachs. As it coats, it relieves most any stomach problem, not just a few like these other leading medicines. Pepto-Bismol. <sighs> In any emergency, it's first aid for heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, and upset stomachs. Do you think you're getting the best shave? Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. We bet you can't find a closer, safer shave than Sensor Excel. No other razor has Sensor Excel soft micro bends for extra protection and self adjusting blades for extra closeness. Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. Once you experience the safest way to the closest shave, we bet you won't go back. Gillette Sensor XL. For some, it's the fact that we have more 24-hour locations than any other pharmacy. For others, it's our thousands of satellite link locations. Whatever the reason, more Americans depend on Walgreens than any other pharmacy. So if your employer or prescription health plan doesn't allow you to enjoy all that Walgreens offers, contact them today. After all, we can't expect everyone to become a Walgreens customer, but we'd like to see everyone have the opportunity. So Katie's sick now, too? Oh, sure is. Well, poor baby. I'm lucky to get this doctor appointment. Thanks for watching, Timmy. I didn't want to drag him out again. I suppose we'll need another expensive prescription. Well, Dad and I save money with a Providium prescription plan because Medicare doesn't pay for most drug costs. Well, how'd you find out about it? I saw it on TV. I called the toll-free number and ordered it. Here, why don't you call, too? With this low membership fee, you can save up to half off the cost of prescriptions, even for those you're taking right now. Save on the spot at thousands of pharmacies nationwide. There's no claim form. Save on prescriptions for every member of your household. One price covers all. Plus, you can get up to half off the price of eyeglasses and contact lenses. I can't believe they're sick again. Yes, but this time it'll cost a lot less to get better. We have the Providian prescription plan. Call 1-800-426-8500. That's 1-800-426-8500. One more time. I need you to push for me again, okay? And push! Keep breathing, keep breathing. Good, honey. Okay, deep breath, big push. You're almost there, and push. Six, three. Sliders, relive the adventure with episodes that paved the way for the brand new season coming to the Sci-Fi Channel. Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern. You did good, honey. <laughs> Only on the Sci-Fi Channel. Mrixel, uh-huh, Mrixel, 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 woo, okay, now throw me up, Mike, Mrixel, oh, oh. 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 o
Oh, oh Earl the Pearl's calling. Where's the pearl? Uh -huh. Hey, Smelson. Feeling my oats today. Spritel, Chim Chim, and I ran right into a school of sunnies. They were all over our jerk bait like ugly on eight. Hey! Hey, shucks your cake hole. It's just an expression. Mm. All in all, a pretty nice trip. We used Brainiac here as a fish locator, and then he harvested some wild mushrooms with his mind. We sat by a crystal blue stream, having mind-fried rainbow trout. Mm. It was heaven. I got bit by a rattlesnake in a very embarrassing place. I had to suck the poison out myself. <laughs> I'll never eat again. I got stung by a scorpion. I uh, found the mother load of deer ticks. Uh, sat in some sand burrs. Say, got mauled by a bear. He buried me so he could eat me later, and I had to dig my way out. Whose oh, story oh, is this? Oh. Anyway, we found some beautiful wildflowers oh. and some of these uh, weird-ass zucchini things. Oh. You know, you should go camping. Oh, that's right. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but there's plenty oh, of yes, you can, Mike. Ow, you just oh, have to know how to part it. <laughs> you see, Ow. with as few good Jeez. calm rivers and streams as there are in the satellite of love, well, one good canoer must know how to part it. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. Ow. I'm portaging. But what is portaging, Ow. really? Ow. I mean, Webster's oh. Dictionary defines Ow. it as portage. To Ow. portage or portage. But what does it mean for us, really, guys? Uh, guys? Uh, guys? Oh, oh good. watch it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Portage. <laughs> well, isn't that pleasant and quality? Yes, and thank you. Yes, quality has been inserted into every sector of our day, and we wish to share it with you. Please accept these lovely and decent throw pillows. I thought you said they were zucchini. Now they're throw pillows? Yeah, which is it? Throw zucchini. Pillows. Throw zucchini. pillows. Zucchini. Well, they're well, a kind, they're of, a kind zucchini of zucchini that you can use zucchini. as a... So they're throw pillows. Zucchini. They're throw pillows. Please enjoy their fine quality and your movie, which is both called Giant Spider Invasion and is quite quality. Guys, I don't know. I don't think we should accept these zucchini pillow oh, things. Oh, don't be so suspicious, Mike. Hey, send them babies up. We'll use them in the rumpus room. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Ah, ah, you yikes. see, they're perfectly normal, overgrown pod-like vegetation, Mike. You nervous, Nelly, you. Oh, we got more in time. <laughs> Hey, it's a giant spider invasion of savings at Menards. Oh, this is when all those spider singers came over from Great Britain. Steve Brody just closes his eyes again. <laughs> wow, starring Alan Dove Hale. Special but unknown guest star. How can you have a guest star in a movie? Mm -hmm. hey, this is an orchestral piece called the People's Court Suite. <laughs> Ah, the beer barrel poker. <laughs> Gillette, the best a man can get. It was executive produced, at least there's that. I can see the giant spider moving slowly towards us, down and down. Oh. Ah, Bill Rabane, one of the finest directors ever to come out of North Central Wisconsin. <laughs> I hope Earth has its diaphragm on. I shot the sheriff's office, but I did not shoot the deputy's office. The seamless foam cups provide yeah. support. Oh. Hi, little buddy. Hey. Hi. Hey. What's happening? Oh, not much. I thought I'd stop by and see if you had a scoop for the paper. I'll show you my new well, shirt. It's pretty quiet around here, Davey. Oh? Well, you know I always have things under control. Well, I guess there's nothing going on in this neck of woods except the revival over at Gleason Town Hall. Phyllis George. You going? No. Are you? No. I got me a date with Terry. Well, I'm surprised that Dan Kester lets you anywhere near her. He's a brother-in-law, not her father. Yeah, well, don't get on the wrong side of him, young fella. He's a strange man, and he's working up a big head of steam. Dan? Dad? Where the hell are you going? Into town. What the hell for? The promise keepers. Well, I'm going to a revival. Yeah. But you need it. Oh, there's my rat. <laughs> Sometimes the only way I know you're still alive is when I hear you flush the toilet. Yeah, like they have a toilet. 
Meanwhile, a glowing splint from a high school Votech class speeds toward Earth. What? Are you ready yet? No, not quite. You want a little drink? Oh, no, thanks, Mr. Spector. I'll just wait right here. Casual day at Hazelden. Come <laughs> Okay, yes? Come? Sure you don't want one? No, uh, I'm sure. Terry makes it quite a while. You know, you and Terry don't look much alike, mm. sister. But I gotta say, they're good looks running your family. Well, thanks, Dave. Yeah. You know, it's too bad that there's this little age difference between us. She's drinking fermented Yoo-Hoo. If you were five years older, I'd jump you. Well, I got cables in the car, yeah. ma'am. Hey, you look great. Doesn't she look good, I'm ready for some muskrat loving. Yeah. Come on, Terry. Bye, little pupster. You saved a lot buying the old Dean place. Mm -hmm. well, I suppose I should move Grandma's body out of the dam now. Hello, Sheriff's Office. Professor made a toaster out of coconuts? Why? I see. Uh-huh. Disturbing a pace? We could do that. Yes, ma'am. That's an arrestable offense. Repeat what you say to provide exposition? No, the law does not apply to preaching. Hellfire yes. and brimstone, that is what is in store for you. Dennis Rodman listening? It's right here. <laughs> Psalms 11, verse 6. Upon the wicked he shall rain fire and brimstone. Oh, and spiders. <laughs> I need one room in Las Vegas and a lot of liquor, please. Dr. Vicki Gabb, there's not a drop of booze left in this house. I, I just can't stand it. I'm really desperate. Would you bring me something? This is not the purpose of 911, ma'am. A pony keg should hide me over. Oh, thank you, Dutch. Listen. Listen, you're very appreciative when you say that. I saved you half a can of Pringles. <laughs> That's so understanding. How about this? Beep. Can you hear this? Beep. Well, here we are. The Joe Don Baker Museum. You've got to be kidding. You said fun. Crank up the Molly hatchet and go to town. I like you, Dottie. Why? Can you come again tomorrow night? Well, I certainly hope so. Then we buy room when we still here. Give me that old-time religion. Well, well I, I can hardly wait to get saved again tomorrow night. Uh, oh, Dan, wait. I uh, forgot to validate your parking. Uh, you forgot your back oh, no. oh, oh, my. Oh, he's pink. Oh, he's pink. I don't know how, but I just became Help. sterile. Go, spiders, go, spiders, go, go, spiders. from a great furnace. Then add the ribs and, and cook. And smoke there came locusts <laughs> upon the earth, and unto them was given power. Can I just get my Tupperware? Pull up, Laika, pull up! <laughs> I love chick-infested hounds slaughtering a deer and beer. Ah, Brett Favre at home. <laughs> now they're poor only in money and spirit and dignity and moral fiber and hygiene. Yeah. Hi, Hud. How was it? How was your day at the whore? Great. Great. What is the picture? <laughs> Talk about sin. Yeah. Like a rock. I didn't have to say that. He, uh, was against it. Listen, Dan. Can we get the boom mic a little closer? A movie that takes the bold step of yeah. not including the audience. Look at that. Oh. with music by Pink Floyd. Hooterville was decimated by Scud missiles that day. Meanwhile, a woman needs a light wrap. <laughs> rub their Kiana together and create static to keep warm if they're cold. Yeah. And my skin's getting waxy. Hey. Wait here, Jack. I'll turn off the winning machine. It's the new 1971 car. Well, the air filter's fine. 
I figure we could have sex till this blows over. Albert, come on. Safe. Moses, move the bike. <laughs> Well, I hope that bomb didn't land on our pile of tires and our busted refrigerator in the yard and the rusted chassis of our 68 Impala. Huh. <laughs> what the hell was that? It's befuddling my dumb cracker mind. He's Prefontaine. Peyton's out running. Normal foot. <laughs> it was a shooting star. Like a rock. <laughs> okay. There's a little there now. No fire, no, no smoke, no smell, no sound, nothing. You saw it too. It wasn't just me, you saw it. There must be something out there. Of course, we are dumb cheeseheads. Well, whatever it is, it can keep till morning. I'll leave light on for you. Do you mean to say that all hell just busted loose in our field? And you're going on into bed? I'm tired. And repulsive and stupid. You're always tired. Well, that revival really took it out of me. <laughs> now, if you want to, you can stay out here all night looking at nothing. This isn't a very good remake of Sabrina. Packers fans, the horrible truth. Blush. Mm. It's the good life. Nobody in this house ever gets diarrhea. My stomach okay? Or nausea. I was sick to my stomach. Or even indigestion. Oh, my stomach. But for all those stomach problems, I'm ready with Pepto-Bismol. It's a whole first aid kit for stomach. As it coats, Pepto relieves most any stomach problem. Not just a few like these other leading medicines. Pepto-Bismol. Whether it's their stomachs, stomachs, or stomachs. It's first aid for heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, and upset. Stomach. Do you think you're getting the best shave? Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. We bet you can't find a closer, safer shave than Sensor Excel. No other razor has Sensor Excel's soft micro bends for extra protection and self-adjusting blades for extra closeness. Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. Once you experience the safest way to the closest shave, we bet you won't go back. Gillette Sensor Excel. It's time to discover cars and trucks you may not have thought about before. The 1998 Oldsmobiles at Discover Days. Test drive the intrigue. The sports sedan car and driver magazine shows over Camry and Taurus. Experience this blend of sophistication and sportiness yourself with a limited time offer of 1.9 financing. There's never been a better time to come in for a test drive. Discover Days with incredible 1.9 financing on all Oldsmobiles. At your local Oldsmobile dealer now. This is my morning commute. This is our favorite place to rock. This is my idea of personal growth. This is where we catch up. This is how we make a big splash. This is where I go to get away. And there's just one place to find it all. Pier 1. Pier 1. Pier 1. Pier 1. You'll be surprised by all that's new at Pier 1. Come see for yourself. Pier 1 Imports. Make it your favorite store. I used to hate having my picture taken. Hey, come on, let's have a It's kind of tough picture. when your mom thinks she's some sort of hotshot photographer. Come on, honey, come on. When I couldn't hide from her camera, I'd find other ways to make myself disappear. Right here. My acne problem took me out of the picture for a long time. I tried everything. Creams didn't help, neither did pads or cleansers. I spoke to my mom and we called this toll-free number. We got a lot of helpful information on acne and some ways to treat it, including seeing a doctor. Seems that today, almost every type of acne can be cleared up. Our doctor recommended a prescription medicine I hadn't tried before. <laughs> and the results? Hey guys, smile! Well, they speak for themselves. Don't let acne take you out of the picture. Call 1-800-798-6966 to receive your free information kit on acne and its treatment. So call today, 1-800-798-6966. This week on Sci-Fi Cinematic Saturdays, a voyage destined for disaster. Collision imminent. Where women and children are last trapped in space. Then, 
To complete a mission of mercy, you're gonna have to put the girl off. Murder is required. I love the work going on downstairs. The Cold Equation. See two back-to-back sci-fi movies tonight on Sci-Fi Cinematic Saturdays, beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern. America Online tries to keep up. Red phones are hot in Paris to scream. Yeah, he's got a copy of Varmint Master hidden inside that. <laughs> Hello. Sheriff's office. Uh -huh. oh, don't act with your tongue, Alan. I see. Well, I should button my shirt. Say your radio won't work? Well, all I can tell you is call Joe's radio shop. Hilton's 9 a.m. sharp. Say your space based missile defense system won't work? Your car won't start? Then you might be a redneck. I can tell you. Call Ernie's auto repair. He opens at 8. Maybe he's Amish and doesn't believe in buttons. <laughs> no, ma'am, I don't have the number. Take your time, movie. All I can tell you is use the yellow pages. Let your fingers do the walking. It's not a joke, <laughs> but an incredible simulation. That's funny. I wonder why she hung up on me. Maybe your bodily funk travels over the phone line. <laughs> <laughs> actually filmed inside the thumb hole of a bowling ball. Film extra noir. Hello? Movie. Come on, movie. Come here, boy. Don't pull over us, too. Don't turn on the light. No! Oh. Oh. Get out of me. Uh, he's lactating. Put the gun away. What the hell are you doing oh. sneaking in here at this hour? What a handsome man. <laughs> Young Bill and Hillary struggle to make it. I warned you. Oh. Little Perkins is not as rock. Want a piece of milk? Perkins day fall, his car broke down. Hey, would you call this food? <laughs> you fell for that. Oh, <laughs> my girl, you've done it again. <laughs> that, that whiskers on it when I was a kid. Oh. It really did break down. Where? In the junkyard. I feel like a homecoming for you, eh, Mike? That's just exactly where a horny little punk like that would park. In the junkyard. Our proud Viking heritage. I hate to burst your bubble, but it was my idea. I ought to put you over my knee, pull down your britches, and spank the hell out of you. Oh, oh, I always oh, wondered why you used to spank me so much. You could get you a jolly. Oh, I oh, and the movie ramps up the repulsion. <laughs> This movie hates us, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I better finish my silverfish en croute. Man can't even have any peace in his own house. Well, Section 8 owns the house, but... <laughs> a showered person, thank God. Guys, it's Della Street. Whoa! The hotline to Paul's operative. <laughs> Mr. Kester, all your tests are positive. Yes, this is Dr. Langer from Montclair Observatory again. I've got a gamma ray shower, and the barometer's dropped an inch in less than 20 minutes. Should I wear shorts or slacks? That's unprecedented. Right, right. And none of the other phenomena I'm recording correlate with any previously observed data in this area. So I thought we should cut to Cape Canaveral. The story of regional planning, careful zoning regulation, rational development control. The philodendron story. <laughs> Polish toilet paper dispenser. That's great. I got to put that up. Did I ever tell you you're gorgeous? Not recently. <laughs> Paul, how many times do I have to tell you? Talk to plants to make them grow. Talk to plants? Right. Not you, Vance. You haven't fallen for that metaphysical nonsense. Well, my M.O. says that I am half metaphysics and half astrophysics. NASA's double wide. Now, what made you take the long walk down the hall? Hmm? More freaky stuff from northern Wisconsin. Freaky? Well, drunk. We just got a report in that's right out of Ripley. And what's the source? Montclair Observatory and Dr. J. Langer. Langer? I like the movie's panel. For opener. Yeah. We have a heavy gamma ray shower, an incredibly fast drop in barometric pressure, an aurora with no sun activity, and an amazingly potent unknown ground level x-ray source nearby. Who put those pencils up there? Paul. Oh, Paul. Did we receive a SAC report on the fouled up B-52? Yeah. Would I look good in short shorts? Was it in the same part? I'm too embarrassed to answer, sir. Oh, you're right. Mm. It was Ignore the blood here. Right here. <laughs> then it disappeared off the radar scope. Any report of a crash in that area? No. Can I go? What's the closest town? 
horses. Where they hear who's. You better pack your suitcase. I'm wearing it, old buddy. Oh, you're not wearing it, you old son of a... <laughs> Good, because I've already arranged your transportation. Thanks. <laughs> Grumpy old losers. Thanks, come on. <laughs> she ran calling wildfire. What a remarkable pig. <laughs> Cut, print, beautiful, we got it. I heard this actor got this in one take. How oh, the bright promise of a disgusting new character. His arm looks like it's carved out of lard. Mean Gene Okerlund. Right in the middle of my heart attack. Concierge. Seven o'clock already? No, it's, uh... 6.02. Well, what? Oh, not you again. Why don't you just come over? <laughs> okay, what's up, Ryder? Well, we just got a report from an ore freighter in the middle it's of Lake Superior. an operator. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Did you check on the car ferries on Lake Michigan? <laughs> no, no, Vance, this is serious. A couple of the seamen upon board the ship saw a plane crash. Oh. And it just might be ours. Any sign of survivors? We don't know. Okay, Dad, keep in touch. Oh, uh, right. Oh, there went my heart. Uh, what time am I supposed <laughs> to meet this, uh, uh, this You're waddle stripping, sir. Banger at the observatory. You're expected at nine sharp. Nine I can make, but if I don't get some shut eye, I'm gonna be very sharp. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> they met discussing hair oils. They've been friends ever since. <laughs> my waddle needs five more minutes. 123, 124, 125. We've had seven already. So? So when the hell are you going to get off your big fat ass and go see what happened in our pasture last night? That deserves a thoughtful answer. I mean, my breakfast in peace. I'd like to keep up my strength. Karen, food stamps is hard. What for? Ah, the Walmart family. The more usual kinds of stars are what we astronomers call the main sequence stars and they run the gamut from the blue giant to the red dwarf like linda hunt and then the more fascinating stars we call it normal stars like linda hunt then we have the white dwarf like linda and hunt. they have a radius of less than one one hundredth of our suns and a density so great that even a teaspoon of its matter would weigh tons and it could only be lifted by a giant crane. i will grow into my beauty then uh, there are the quasars, neutron stars, and black holes, or collapsed stars. Like Robert Downey. Now, let me show you my conception of the creation of this universe. No! Out of this primordial fireball, the galaxies, planets, and stars of our universe were created. What about the black UN helicopters, ma'am? you can see, our sun is but one small star in a galaxy such as this. Raw snap. Toke. Now, a galaxy consists of not only the stars that we talked about, Heading. but also Toke. great Kiss. swirling Rope. masses of Ross dust Nap. and gas News. out of which the Spit stars ball. were formed and to which they ultimately return. Hmm. But now, let's go back to the collapsed stars, or the neutron stars, quasars, or black holes. Oh, less. As we continue less with not. this series, <laughs> you'll learn many things Linda about the Oh, hey, Gyps, what happened to the zucchini throw pillow things that Mrs. Forrester sent us? Yeah. I put them in a safe place. Okay, and where's that? A place where you would need a horrible demise before laying your polluting fingers upon them. So you put them in Mike's laundry basket? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Good oh, one. Oh, oh. And now you should sleep. I have prepared warm milk to help you. But I'm not tired. But all sentient beings, however inferior, require sleep. Uh, you okay, Gyps? Of course I am, Mitchell Nelson. And now you must sleep. Perhaps a simple lullaby will aid you. Oh. Close your eyes, go to sleep, be absorbed by the collective. That's great, Gypsy. Get over here. What's wrong with Gypsy? What are you talking about? She's no different than usual. Fade away. 
lose your soul to be replaced by a taken toy. over. Yeah, one vivid imagination there, Mike. Yeah, kind of paranoid, if you ask me. Paranoid. But the evil super consciousness swallow you whole. There, there. You ever heard her sing about evil super consciousness swallowing us whole? You know? Well, maybe you have a point, Mike. Nah, I've heard her sing about that stuff lots of times. Oh, that's not her, and, and whatever it is wants us to fall asleep. We have to stay awake no matter what. Are you approaching a state of relaxing quality sleep yet? <laughs> <laughs> just about. I'll be right with you. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> See, I think we just forgot her birthday or something. <laughs> Surrender all, give it up. Hey, when it comes to the weekend, we figure it's time for kicking back. Yeah, right. Now there's a car that helps your supercharged family take leisure to a new extreme. The new supercharged Regal GS. Besides having more standard safety features than any car in its class, Regal also has room for five very supercharged people and all their supercharged toys. The new Regal GS by Buick. Official car of the supercharged family. A scrubber sponge is a scrubber sponge. They're all alike. They are all alike. We asked these women to compare the SOS scrubber sponge to their scrubber sponge. Oh, it's a different shape. It is thicker. The shape does make a difference. It fits perfectly. Its shape lends itself to what you need to do. And this point here where your finger is cleaning those little corners of a glass. It's easier to get into the corners and scrub your dishes. The SOS scrubber sponge. To me, the first different scrubber. You believe it when you hold it. I just hope that we can take these home. Can we? I want to oh, do that. Good. What does it take to keep my hair this beautiful? Lots and lots of people! Come on, in the real world, it takes new Daily Defense. Mm. Their new shampoos and conditioners that really protect your hair. Daily Defense shields your hair from sun, blow dryers, even pollution. <gasps> With new Daily Defense, anyone can get the protection their hair needs to keep it shiny and beautiful without a big production. Mm. New Daily Defense from Clairol. Hair care for the real world. Defend yourself! Why is America on America Online? Email. Travel arrangements. You can check out the news that I want. We can shop. I get the sports without waiting for the TV news. Instant messages. You name it. Online, I've got it. America Online. Easy to use, friendly menus. Click your online. And we've spent over $500 million to more than triple capacity, all to make your online experience easier. I can check my stocks all day long. It puts the whole internet right at my fingertips. It's so easy my dad can use it. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. The Sci-Fi Channel presents a freeze-frame sneak peek at Dark City, the futuristic new thriller from New Line Cinema. From the director of The Crow, Alex Proyas, from the dark side of the imagination comes a world where night never ends, where man has no past and humanity has no future. Rufus Sewell, Kiefer Sutherland, Jennifer Connelly, William Hurt. Darkness falls soon. Dark City, in theaters everywhere on February 27th. Keep watching for more freeze-frame movie previews on the Sci-Fi Channel. You are now entering the Party Zone, a new 36-song collection of today's hottest dance tracks. I'm looking for a new love, baby. Oh, oh, Sheila, let me love you till the morning comes. Call toll-free now for the Party Zone. Cassettes, $19.98. CDs, $26.98. Call now. Slider's adventure began. This is how it all started. Just an equation on a wall. With a special collection of episodes. This is truly remarkable. That paved the way for the brand new season coming to the Sci-Fi Channel. Think of all the other worlds out there and how much fun we'd have exploring them. The Sliders. Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Only on the Sci-Fi Channel. guy who invented stairs. Oh, I can't. College is being ranch homes. Oh, one heart attack for landing. Oh, if I can keep it to the asphalt. Oh, oh, sounds like a nice place. I wish we could see it. He's entering through the kitchen at the Copa. Obstetric, endocrinology, waddle removal. Here it is. 
How's everybody doing? Hello. I'm Dr. J.R. Vanson. Doctor Vanson, Vanson, Vanson. So glad you're here, Doctor. I'm Jenny Langer. Smoker, coffee drinker. Nice to meet you. I have an appointment with your father. Oh, no, no. Uh, he passed away in 1960. Oh, I'm so sorry. Then the appointment must be with your husband. Go, Waddle Man. Uh-huh. I'm not sorry. Uh, then it's probably with your brother. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, my brother's an interior decorator in Oscar. Uh-huh. You see, Dr. Vance, I'm afraid your appointment is with me. I'm Dr. Jenny Langer. Uh, humor of the 1840s. <laughs> and we have some very important business to discuss. So you've had a sex change? She's yeah, wearing we suppose, if I'm not mistaken. Ever been here before? No, but it's beautiful. The trees, the green foliage. It's so banal. I'm not very fond of plants. Oh? You know what we have in Nassau? Hmm? No, what? Green tile and chrome. <laughs> you don't look the type. Such a nice day, and they're wasting it making this well, movie. Well, do you want to clue me in? I'd certainly like to. You see, it was after the lecture last night. Mr. Vance, but I, I suddenly discovered there were many peculiar things happening. So you're a woman. Yeah, like the gamma ray shower, uh-huh. the aurora, and the barometer dropping like wolves. Exactly, and that's when I made those urgent calls to NASA. Frankly speaking, I'm very concerned. He dresses like Johnny well, Carson. frankly speaking, Doctor. I want to see that pantsuit hit the floor. The United States government. <laughs> Let's go to Mass. I'm still measuring an X-ray shower from the ground level. Hmm? At a magnitude never before measured on Earth, except a nuclear explosion. Well, I gotta clean well, out the doctor, pre-filter, and then I'll be back, okay? It could be an abortive strike from a unfriendly power. Hmm? Oh, come on. You don't think a missile landed here? Oh, that's one possibility, yes. Up yours. It could have been a falling object like a meteorite, not a missile. Doctor, a meteorite would have made a tremendous explosion. Okay. Hey, Dad, how do you like my first web? Anything there? <laughs> oh, Mary, uh, this is Mr. Vance from Nassau. Mary Johnson. Mm-hmm. Hello, Mary. I suppose you're a woman, too. Doctor, mm-hmm. your uh, water for Mary must have forgotten it. Would you like some tea? Tea? <laughs> That's not my brand. Oh. Here are the reports from last night. Shot on location in Ms. Herberger's bio class. Well, let's see what happens today. Divide by ten in minutes. <laughs> Add up to three columns in an hour. <laughs> Your order's number 57. Please pull ahead. Mm-hmm. Well, I see the salad wasn't included, huh? So the one thing they make is the adding machine. <laughs> oh. Did you beat? <laughs> <laughs> wow. A lot of crappies down there. Level still high. Mm-hmm. Whatever landed. Hasn't gone away. Are you as turned off as I am? Oh, having another heart attack. <laughs> you know, Doctor, I think I will have the tea. Oh, it's always funny when you turn down tea, then you decide you want tea. <laughs> Greg Norman at the Masters. I told you there was Shh. nothing out here. Hours are listening. There's nothing. So why are you carrying your gun? Ah, oh, shut up. There is love. You run a farm like trying to teach an ox to use a typewriter. Ever since you've been running the place, everything's gone wrong. Whoops, plot hole. <laughs> Got milk. Now what? I'm going to put on a dashiki and blow your mind. You oh. what a lucky man he was. Just don't understand them. The things I can do with my spirograph. Those radiation levels are far too lethal. Anyone anywhere near the initial impact point would be in great danger. Hmm. What would be the safest way to find the exact point of impact? Have you do it. <laughs> Maybe we could use a helicopter. Oh, no, it'd be too dangerous. But Doctor. He's got a hatchet wound. We have already lost one airplane crew. I didn't know that. 30 lashes with a wet noodle. <laughs> Well, back to the tea. There it is again. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, McRib sandwich with McFlies. There's another one. Were we supposed to be feeding the cattle? Well, Bessie'd been depressed, but I didn't think she'd do this. 
Come on, move. Move, damn it. I can't tell what kind of critter could have done that. Cow tipping gone horribly wrong. Big dead cow in there. You realize what this is going to cost us? Hmm? It ain't going to cost us nothing. Nine dead animals ain't going to cost us nothing? You're so dumb, you wouldn't know rabbit turds from Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle, poop. I'll butcher up the meat like I always do, and I'll sell it to Dutch's Cafe. Oh, the Jack in the Box. <laughs> you don't even know what killed those cows. There might be something horrible wrong with the meat. Well, that's Dutch's lookout, not mine. Brought to you by the Pork Council. Dutch's Cafe on the Beltline. I've never seen so much fouled up data in my life against every known law of physics. Except that one that I don't know. Well, we've tried to brainstorm it. We've tried scrubbing it out. And it just won't brainstorm. Right. Take your pantsuit from your back. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Ghostbusters! Mm. Hey, let's go down to Dutch's for some meatloaf. <laughs> Doctor, mm -hmm. do you have a Geiger counter? You're in the other office. Good. Well, whoopee for you. Let's see if your local sheriff will support us. Hmm? Sheriff Jones? <laughs> Our jolly red side? I know just where he is. Let's go. Anyway, six-hour bio lab's about to start, so you need to You're gonna love him. You know, he believes in Velikovsky's theory. Mm -hmm. that the moon came out of the Pacific Ocean. So do I. You know, I just don't look at that table that often, you know? Just occasionally, really kind of a... Periodic table. <laughs> I love summer in Wisconsin. Meat rotting in the fields. Mm. The hills are alive with the stink of that guy. His back brace is smelly. Now, that's just gonna want that much meat. So I'll free some of it up and store it to him later. Honey, I don't feel fresh. Hey, look at that. I could distill it and drink it. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a rock like that around. You know, this movie tested well with sexual predators. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's breadfruit. Honey, let's play William Burroughs and Joan. These two have every married with children on tape. Well, maybe we never planted corn. Wow, look at that. I told you something went here last night. There's a 747 just sitting there. We got giant prairie dogs. Bork of Ork was taken to St. Mary's Hospital, but pronounced dead on arrival. I know you can't tell from the outside. I better climb in one and see what it is. These are round arrowheads. I'll juggle my way back to his heart. Andy giant spider invasion begins mm. now. 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 And now. now. And begin. of science fiction sci-fi entertainment magazine the authority on sale now you know what i used to hate about hairspray everything especially the stiff sticky feel you know what i love about new pro v flexible hold everything now that stiff sticky feel most hairsprays leave behind history that's the brilliance of elastes pantene's revolutionary new holding ingredient you get natural touchable flexible hold all the hold you need, plus a healthy new feel you'll love. New Pantene Pro-V Flexible Hold. For hair so healthy, it shines. It'll change the way you feel about hairspray. Do you think you're getting the best shave? Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. We bet you can't find a closer, safer shave than Sensor Excel. No other razor has Sensor Excel's soft micro bends for extra protection and self-adjusting blades for extra closeness. Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. Once you experience the safest way to the closest shave, we bet you won't go back. Gillette Sensor Excel. Tropical fruits. Banana. Pina colada. Fruit patch. Mango melon. Yum. 
If you had 99 cents, what would you buy? A gallon of gas? A new air freshener? How about Wendy's chicken nuggets? Oh, yeah. All white meat, crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Bite for bite, the best bed in chicken. That's the one I'd pick. Hey, San Francisco, show us your feet. I have corns. They hurt. Will you show me your corns? <laughs> no! Don't be shy. This will help. Dr. Scholl's Cushlin Gel Corn Remover. Nothing relieves pain faster or removes corns quicker. It feels great. I feel no pain at all. Going <laughs> dancing in these shoes. You think you can maybe do a pirouette for me? <laughs> and good morning to you all. young you. Hey, Helga. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. You must have had some kind of a heavy date last night, huh? You better believe it. One of the loggers? That's my <laughs> What a delightful pig I am. Yeah, Dutch, you got that Limburger cheese smile on your face again this morning. What? Had trouble last night? Yeah. One of the loggers? What does that mean? Hmm? I don't know. I've had trouble myself. Just random words. Seems like everybody was calling up with some cockamamie little thing. A car wouldn't start, the radio wouldn't work. And that preacher, man, he kept everybody awake last night. Who does that gospel wanga go on? I don't know, but I'll tell you, he may work for God, but he sure hollers like the devil. <laughs> oh, Alan! <laughs> I gotta go drain the little buddy. I'll be right back. Breakfast ready. Here's your steak and eggs with deep fried butter. Welcome to Hooters. <laughs> well, my thumb's clean off now. No, not gonna work. Go get me a hammer. Well, no wonder I was constipated. These are not a lovely bunch of coconuts. Mm -mm. We're out of gin. Not that one. The big one. Stanley. A mm -hmm. And a chisel. I don't care what you use. Just hit the guy. It's the lead singer of the Spin Doctors. Here's your liver, honey. I packed it nice. <laughs> I'm glad he's not a moil. <laughs> honey, MIT called. <laughs> Man, this floor is disgusting. Don't worry, he's good with it, Junior. Ah, the ropers. Hey, look. My toenail finally fell off. It, it, it split. Here, let me see. They look like diamonds. I don't know. Let's get Mikey to try it. May not be hard enough to be don't a diamond. Don't hit it. No, no. Diamonds are supposed to cut glass. Nah, That's they're supposed right. to, but they're too damn lazy. You see, he remembers that from his last year at school in third grade. Too bad their windows are made from cellophane and duct tape. Aryan nation rules. <laughs> Look at that. I made a R. Hello? Oh, hi, Dr. Langer. How are you this morning? Will you join me, please? Round of bacon. I'm buying. This is your brother from Oshkosh? <laughs> no, this is Dr. Vance from NASA. Hmm? Hello, Jerry. NASA? The yes. National Aeronautic Space Administration? That NASA? No, uh, Long Island. Yes, but it's NASA. Houston, Texas. Sheriff, hmm? we have to talk to you about last night's disturbances. Say no more. I'll get that preacher man to tone it down tonight. No, no, I don't mean that disturbance. Oh, no? Pardon me, Doctor. There's a crumb I didn't eat there. One of our local spiders. So it's stupid and smells of beer sweat? Uh, hey, what's that gizmo? It's my pacemaker. It's a Geiger counter. A Geiger counter? Well, we don't have any Geigers around here. Never did have in these parts. <laughs> Killing no, Emma. You misunderstand me. See, Dr. Geiger invented this to count the oh, nuclear... Oh, Vance, Vance, I have a feeling the sheriff's putting you on. I'm sure he's taking physics. Oh, I used to take physics. But now I find that uh, joke coming in. Prunes do the better job for me. Ah! Ah. <laughs> We're gonna be rich. What do you mean we? You, me, and Booze. This farm is mine. Everything that's on it is mine. Every dead cow. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody ever found diamonds around here before. Hmm? I guess they came out of that weird fireball thing last night. <laughs> Take these into cousin Billy at the rock shop. Billy. He can tell me just exactly what they're worth. But don't, don't you tell Cousin Billy where you found them. That'll be our secret. Alvino, honey, I love you. But don't look at me like that, Dan. You and me are going to be rich. Think of the toilet you can buy. <laughs> Dan, listen, I, I never meant any of those nasty things I used to say to you. I was, I was just teasing. I'm going to call off the invasion. This place is just not worth it. 
Yeah. It's a welfare mom sucking us dry. Hi, Dr. Langer. Morning, Sheriff. Morning. Hello, dear. May I join you? Please. Thank you. This is Dave Perkins. His father runs a local newspaper. He's Mrs. Hello, Pinchon. Dave. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Dr. Vance from NASA. NASA, huh? NASA. Houston. Where they oh. have a problem. Well, what brings you here? Anything I can publish in the paper? Uh, well, uh, that's classified. Well, I'll put it in the classified section. <laughs> well, that's safe enough. Nobody reads your ads anyway. Have <laughs> fun, Sheriff. Uh, uh, Dave, uh, could I speak to you for a moment? Sure, Dr. Dave. But no touching. Excuse us for a moment. Now, do you recommend the chicken fried steak or the walleye cheek? Pudding! <laughs> yeah, you can borrow my shirt. Is he always that serious? Well, he has something to be serious about at this time. You know, I wonder if what happened to Terry and I last night had something to do with what you're talking about. What? What happened uh, to you and Terry? First base? Well, we were parked by the junkyard. The lights went, they went dead, the radio wouldn't work, and the engine wouldn't start. A wind came up and started, I don't know, everything just went wrong. Thoughtful or hungry, you decide. Hour three of the invasion, we took the refrigerator. <laughs> Thanks for breakfast, ma'am, I'll clean up. Well, the doctor should have been more specific when he told her to get plenty of fluids. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I need changing again. You're hitting the booze again, huh? Leave me alone. I feel terrible. Mm. This place is full of spiders. <sighs> yeah, I know. Little pink ones. No, no. Big, big, black, hairy ones with furry legs. No, that's me. Uh -huh. Lay off the booze, Evan. They'll go mm. away. You know, in her defense, laying off the booze would mean seeing him sober. It's true. Do, 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 do. No, he has been. Hello, Sheriff's office. Oh, yes, Mrs. Cooper. How are you? Pancakes. I'll be right over. Missing? Well, where are you? Well, take a good look around, and that's where you would be. When did you see him last? 1953. You haven't seen him since last night. Well, I'd be glad to drive out and take a look for him. Uh, what color is his motorcycle? Personally, I've never been able to start seeing motorcycles. Come on, dear, please. Stop worrying. I'm sure he'll turn up safe and sound. I'll be there after my pre-lunch snack. Yes, I'll get in touch with you. Right, bye. It's time to discover cars and trucks you may not have thought about before. The 1998 Oldsmobiles at Discover Days. Consider the Cutlass, winner of the AAA Top Car Award. Or the 88, voted a Best Buy eight years straight by Consumer's Digest. Right now, they're both available for a limited time with 1.9 financing. Discover Days with incredible 1.9 financing on all Oldsmobiles. At your local Oldsmobile dealer now. This is my morning commute. This is our favorite place to rock. This is my idea of personal growth. This is where we catch up. This is how we make a big splash. This is where I go to get away. And there's just one place to find it all. Pier 1. Pier 1. Pier 1. Pier 1. You'll be surprised by all that's new at Pier 1. Come see for yourself. Pier 1 Imports. Make it your favorite store. Today, Microsoft makes the Internet faster. Today, the next wave in Internet software is free for a month. Today, you can get online faster and go where you want in no time. Today, the Internet is just a click away. It's the best of times. See for yourself. 
NSN Premier is free for a month when you call 1-800-225-1880. Microsoft helps you make the most of the Internet right on your Windows 95 base PC with sound, motion, and more. Send email that gets through. Get the news as it happens. Plan and book a trip. Manage your investments. And find exactly what you want with Microsoft Internet Explorer. Call 1-800-225-1880 for your free month today. You'll get a free CD with the latest Internet software from Microsoft. It's just really extraordinary to see what you can do. And unlimited hours online. Free for a month. So call today, and you're on your way. One more time. I need you to push for me again, okay? And push! Keep breathing, keep breathing. Good, honey. Okay, deep breath, big push. You're almost there. And push! Sliders, relive the adventure with episodes that paved the way for the brand new season coming to the Sci-Fi Channel, Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern. You did good, honey. <laughs> only on the Sci-Fi Channel. Boy, how come you only get tired when you have to stay awake to avoid being replaced by an evil pod creature, huh, Servo? <laughs> Servo! Oh, I, I am awake, Mike. I can stay awake. I just need a little... No, 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 don't pass out on me now. Okay. We have to stay awake to avoid being replaced by a pod creature from Gypsy's evil doppelganger. Oh, please, Mike, Dippelgänger. Honor the umlaut, Dippelgänger. 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 Round the lips, Dippelgänger. I'll round your lips. Now, Crow. I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, Mike, I, I have French roast, I have a vibrant, uh, diet pills, uh, Mountain Dew, Jolt, uh, Water Joes, uh, uh, Surge, uh, chocolate-covered espresso beans, M&Ms, and I'm Listening to Nietzsche Rab, and, and I'm fine, Mike. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's all right. Okay, just don't, uh, don't explode. I'm uh, not okay, checking Roger. on the planet here. Oh, 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 oh. hi, Nelson. Oh. Just getting the last of these ticks off. Bobo, is that you? I mean, really you? Oh, no, it's John Shuck on a bad hair day. Of course it's me, and I'm fine. But these two, <laughs> they really love their zucchinis. In fact. They're packing them up so that they can deliver zucchinis to their friends all over the galaxy. Now, 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 listen very carefully, Bobo. Those pods grow aliens who replace your body. If they're loading them into the truck, that means the whole galaxy could be in danger. Huh? Oh, come now. <laughs> Just because they load a bunch of zucchini throw pillows onto a truck doesn't mean they're trying to take over the galaxy. <laughs> Preposterous. It's a typical of you with your back and your broad hand blenders. <laughs> Well, look, I'll just ask her. Oh, say, Lawgiver, that, now, are those evil pods, and are you trying to take over the galaxy? Yes and yes. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I, I guess I could see how you could misconstrue that, Nelson, but I'm still not convinced. What do you mean, you don't count? Look, don't, calm down. Look, just do me a favor and try taking one of those pods off the truck, okay? All right. I'll humor you. Let me see if I can grab one of these babies here. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what happens here. Take. Oh, I don't remember taking another one of those. Excuse me. Well, now, this is odd. And she did say she wanted to take over the galaxy, and. <laughs> Nelson, I see your point. You may be onto something. The universe is in danger, but don't you worry, no siree, Bob. I'm on the job. I'll stop these two wretched creatures and foil their little plan. I'll get word on it. Well, again, we're doomed. Oh, God. What's that horrible thumping? Yeah, it, it's my heart. I, I think I'm, oh, I think oh, I'm going to blow. <laughs> Hurry up, you guys, please. Why don't you get the button? Alas, poor Yorick. Well, oh, I'm going to pre-bury myself to save time after I die. <laughs> He's a freelance pooper scooper. Ooh, they whacked the crypt keeper. Whatever it is, it's drizzled with chocolate sauce. Honey, you up? Uh, George Hamilton finally overtends.
death of a kabuki actor. Corner need to know. Ah. Well, I'd like to say a few words. Um, this guy's dead. Uh, the end. Thank you. <laughs> well, happy Arbor Day. What was that waiter's name in Paris? Jean-Luc. Hey, uh, Gary, does this strike you as a really gross planet we're invading? <laughs> oh, look, wait, what am I doing? Jeez. Okay. okay. I'm coming down. Thanks. <coughs> Do they keep their garbage in the refrigerator? An afternoon with Sandra Locke. I'm not looking, repeat, not looking at the contents of the blender. These people are really the backbone of your casino-based economy. I just caught a glimpse of myself in the hallway mirror. Well, if I know that spider, it's not a virgin Bloody Mary. <laughs> we We still on for the Richard Feynman lecture? You look like you can use a drink. And a shower and a job. I found another body. Oh, good. Yours is getting pretty gross. Another cow? A human body. I was walking along the street and I killed it. And the Dutch would only give me 39 cents a pound. But it was chewed up worse than them cattle. Funny, I used to like things like that. <laughs> we have to call the sheriff. Are you out of your mind? I buried that body. And I hid the motorcycle. No one will ever know. You're crazy. We can't let that sheriff come nosing around here. Wait, he'd find the diamonds. And all that grass we're growing. Wands are illegal in Wisconsin? Well, you sound like you've been smoking this stuff yourself. Oh, my Bloody Mary has legs. Wow, 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 wow. Charlotte's doing bachelor parties now. Bum, 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 bum. Well, the family in Tobacco Road had a nicer farm than this. <laughs> hey, pal, you got any curds and whey? Doing kind of a grunge Amish look. My assignment, take out the greasy heck with extreme prejudice. I'm proud to be a crap farmer. But please, sir, you're standing on my wife. Dine, mister. Why is he calling? I attempted the north base of Mount Cheesehead. Gee, Mr. Touchy wigs out. Ha! Miss me! Every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth shall be an abomination. Gotta nip it in the bud. Only the pure of heart shall be fed. Spider's barbecue got out of control. Hi, you. Don Juan Distinco. I, I could come again tonight. No. no. How'd you sweet? How'd you well, I told the lush that I had to come in and see my cousin about some hot rocks. So <laughs> horror. <laughs> Well, come on in, let's do your taxes. <laughs> oh, that's a cute room. And a whiskey bottle, just the right touch. Oh. Is this Annette Benning's bedroom from In Style magazine? Or? She ran out of liquor, so she's drinking her Jean Nate. No, that's the bed. <laughs> The Martha Stewart we never see. I'll hang those up over there. Yeah. The spider's using all eight eyes now, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. I enjoy being a victim. Invade! G guys? Guys? I feel shaky, oh so trembly. I've had whiskey and vodka and gin. House is decorated with a special Jim Varney signature collection. You and I are very alike. Join me. This invasion is awfully sluggish. More like a minor spider unrest. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I left him little love notes, throw pork rinds on the bed. <laughs> I'm seeing two beds. Um, oh, there are. Is there a Japanese tea ceremony taking place next door? <laughs> Tonight, the bottle came through in a big way. <laughs> now, what was I doing? I wasn't drinking there for a second. Well, 
panning down to her ab roller? What the hell's going on? Bill Rebane's trademark, a shot of crumpled underpants. Hmm, what's that? If you insist, I'll have a drink, thanks. Does the Fonz usually sleep here with his head against the wall? Oh, well, I'm feeling better. At least I'm not seeing spiders tonight. Well, gotta get up early to start drinking. <laughs> I need a new pillow. And a bed. A house. Husband. Life. Tora, Tora, Tora. <laughs> spider, cut it out, honey. I'm tired. Every night his legs are all over me. <coughs> the gearing butt. Over. Mm. Yeah. I wish they hadn't let us down the giant spider path if they couldn't deliver one. Yeah, I think they were saying that a giant spider would be nice, but as an alternative, please consider our little movie. Yeah. Ah, music budget ran out. Wear your dirty socks, wash us! Giant puppet invasion. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, lady, it's not my web. Honest, I'm caught in this thing, too. Tonight in a very special Waltons, Mary Ellen runs around in her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, Mr. Lincoln, Abe! Okay, let's see, it's darker in here, danker. No, there won't be any spiders in here. No, sorry. <laughs> My novelty throw pillow! I'm a woozle, and my name is Peanut. It's morning in America. The back braces are a little sturdier. The morning gin tastes a little smoother. Hey, you forgot something. Uh, no, I, I got it on. <sighs> You're a hot drug. Oh, thank you. I always give you a big tip. Here's your navel lint. Thank you, darling. <laughs> well, this is how Heidi turned out. Do you think you're getting the best shave? Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. We bet you can't find a closer, safer shave than Sensor Excel. No other razor has Sensor Excel soft micro bins for extra protection and self adjusting blades for extra closeness. Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. Once you experience the safest way to the closest shave, we bet you won't go back. Gillette Sensor Excel. Every stomach needs a first aid kit for all those unexpected bites and burns and cuts and scrapes and spills and other stomach irritations. Pepto-Bismol is first aid for stomachs. As it coats, it relieves most any stomach problem, not just a few like these other leading medicines. Pepto-Bismol. <sighs> In any emergency, it's first aid for heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, and upset stomachs. It's time to discover cars and trucks you may not have thought about before. The 1998 Oldsmobiles at Discover Days. Consider the silhouette with features like a power sliding passenger door. It's the minivan that meets everyone's needs. Or the Bravada. Its exclusive smart track system automatically adjusts to changing road conditions. Right now, they're both available for a limited time with 1.9 financing. Discover Days with incredible 1.9 financing on all Oldsmobiles. It's your local Oldsmobile dealer now. Homemade dumplings, delicious ravioli, mouth-watering desserts. It's easy to make with Tasty Press. Just place the dough or pastry sheet on Tasty Press. Spoon on filling, cover with a second sheet, roll and seal. It's fun, fast and easy. Make raviolis, line with pasta dough, fill with cheese and vegetables for a fresh vegetable ravioli. It's all right here in the Tasty Press recipe book. Create vegetable dumplings, make German dumplings. Use low-fat dough with seafood for a low-cal dinner. Use packaged pie crust to make fruit 
pastry desserts. Order Tasty Press for $19.95 with pasta, dumpling, and dessert trays, rolling pin, and recipe book. Order now. We'll send you the rolling slicer, sliced through vegetables, dough, cheese, and more, free with Tasty Press, only $19.95. To order your Tasty Press trays and receive the rolling slicer absolutely free, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-360-5400 or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Call 1-800-360-5400. Back braces steamed and cleaned. Here it is. One on the boss, Mr. Gower. Uh, cousin Ben. Cousin Ben. Hey, what brings you to town? Hey, how's that hot little tomato you're raising out there, huh? Uh, does he raise yeah, tomatoes? Terry's way overripe for dinner. Oh, he raised tomatoes. Oh, Terry's turning bad. I can't control her anymore. Ah, uh, well, she needs a gentle hand. Like mine. Oh, 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 oh. Here, I got something I want to show you. What, what is that? Uh, that's a geode. That's not from around here. So let's beat it up. You must find that down south someplace, huh? Uh, take a look at these. Just how good are these diamonds here? Are they worth two months of my welfare checks? The diamond anniversary ring. Mm -hmm. Tell her you'd marry her right out of high school all over again. <laughs> Uh, just seeing an old fingernail with dirt under... Oh, wait, that's mine. <laughs> so, seen Leatherface around here lately? Well, it's just between you and me, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sir, you will offend me. <laughs> They're uh, industrial quality, you know. And the carbon content isn't nearly as high as a, a real diamond. Uh, mm -hmm. um, no, ring. Type Charles down. Manson Jewel. Well, how, how much are they worth? Well, let's just say if you had a bucket full of these, a barrel full of these. You'd be a fat cheese head yeah. with a barrel full of these. Might be rich. Where'd you find them? Let's uh, just say they uh, fell out of the sky. Ha ha! Well met, my friend. This battle of wits is over. You were the lucky man he was. Satellite report to Paul Ryder. Oh, goody, back to the really unappealing characters. Let me see that. Dear Chunkhead. Well, that's not nice. Latitude 45 degrees, 21 minutes west. Correction, north. <laughs> Longitude 88 degrees, 42 minutes west. That's more than a couple of square miles. I know. Yeah. Well, can't we pinpoint it closer than that? Not from Telcom. I'm afraid you're going to have to use a helicopter. <laughs> Let's have some tea. Hey. Okay. Must be an easier way to find the angler's spot. Hey, Paul Ryder, please. Paul Reiser? This is a horror movie. Ed Wood's Lolita. Oh, where the hell is that? I don't know. <sighs> oh, she's putting up birth control pills for winter. Oh, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Why is it so neat and clean in here? You don't even try to make it look like a real police car. Real stories of the fake highway patrol. Always let your car settle for a minute. The new Alan Hale action figure. He sits down. He snacks. He sits down again. He farts. He drives. He comes with his own lunch. Action Alan Hale and Action Alan Hale's got sold out. Do -do -do. Hello! Walking Tall 3, the high cholesterol years. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Terry. Dan's at home? No, he's at home. Dan! Hey. Suppose you're wondering what's eating Gilbert Grape. <laughs> hey, looking for a new Gilligan. You interested? Hi, Dan. <laughs> I'm checking out a missing persons report. This Mrs. Cooper asked me to find her husband and his motorcycle. Now, she says he goes by here a lot, and he's been missing for a day and a half. Have you seen a motorcycle from around here? No. Well, that closes the case. <laughs> and the invasion's been crushed. Terry, you and Dave seen or heard a motorcycle? Mm -hmm. How about Ev? Drunk as a skunk. Where is she? Skunk. I don't know, and I don't care. Well, if either of you two see or remember anything, give me a jingle, will you? Good people. Salt of the earth. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Boy, that chopper makes nearly as much noise as that preacher man. <laughs> that must be the chopper to give him a lift back to his car. There's a white trash spill on an old possum junction. Hello, woman in white pantsuit. Can you read me? Over. I've located a radioactive source. Extremely high intensity. 
and chocolatey. Can you pinpoint? That's near the kitchen place. Shut up, punk. <laughs> what does it look like? There's a pilot of Charlie Brown's pizza. Of it. Get some wallet done. Uh, get a picture of it and rush it to the lab, huh? Okay, we'll do. Another family vacation ruined. You know, it's a pretty good drawing of the spider, but I think they only have eight legs. <laughs> it fits. Hmm? It's age warp, all right. Hmm? This must be the only energy photogram of its kind. Hmm. What's a space warp? We made it up. Dave, a space warp is a gravitational pull so intense that it makes a black hole in space. Like Linda Hunt. There's only <laughs> one thing I know of that could cause a warp like this. A miniature black hole. Mm -hmm. Could it happen? Could the movie get even worse? Well, it doesn't. There's any black holes in our galaxy. It's a wonder it hasn't happened before. Doctor. Time they got it going. Well, Dr. Vance, Dr. Langer, I've got to be going. Thank you. Bye, Dave. Well, on to our next guest now. Well, everything we... fits. Einstein's general... Goodbye, Dave. <laughs> if a dead star collapsed all its mass... A whole bunch of its mass. The star would gradually shrink to a point... And disappear into another universe. Right, a parallel mm -hmm. universe with a door back and forth. Mm -hmm. That sucks everything up. And throws everything out. Like the sheriff. This may be our problem. Where is this, uh, uh, uh Chester? Chester? Oh, it's, uh... It's somewhere in the Harrison Hills area, right in here. Paul and I brought his operatives out there for a picnic one. Johnny Crappleseed. Paul Infected Bunyan. Old McDonald had a cyst. Oh, poor guy, nobody came out to the groundbreaking for his new outhouse. The subterranean elephant! Way out here, they've got a name for stinky, hairy, white guys. I always thought Mennonites had more dignity. Mike, if I should slip into a coma during this movie, please, please do not take any extraordinary measures to revive me. Thank you. Okay. This guy and Junior Samples were in Greater Tuna. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Why you watch it, you dumb old spider, you? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm drooling, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, does it matter that the spider ate him with his butt? No, I think it seems suitable uh, for this guy. Huh? Can you imagine how many interns it took to pull that guy up into the spider? Can I get off early tonight? Not before nine. Why? I have an aunt coming in from Wawasota. Well, it was the same aunt as last night. Tell her she left the hair. On your neck. My aunt is Katie Lang, okay? Hey, Dash, what we're going to do about those damn spiders? We'll try to get the preacher to exercise them. They're getting enough exercise already. The Dutch and Helga show. Oh, <laughs> boy. Now, you can see why Frank Lloyd Wright wanted to live in Wisconsin. <laughs> Here, give me that. I think I'm gonna need all of that. Hey, you wanna make some crop circles while we're here? Jack in to the Dominion. Let your imagination run wild with bizarre tales of intrigue and terror on Seeing Ear Theater. You won't believe where your ears will take you. Nobody in this house ever gets diarrhea. My stomach, okay? Or nausea. I was sick to my stomach. Or even indigestion. Oh, my stomach. But for all those stomach problems, I'm ready with Pepto-Bismol. It's a whole first aid kit for stomachs. As it coats, Pepto relieves most any stomach problem. Not just a few like these other leading medicines. Pepto-Bismol. Whether it's their stomachs, stomachs, or stomachs. It's first aid for heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, and upset. Stomachs. There are a lot of things that make a Chevy Cavalier a smart buy. Things like the most comprehensive standard safety package in its class. Smart. And the fact that AAA named Cavalier a top car. Very smart. But what makes it an even smarter buy is you can get $1,000 cash back or 2.9% financing. And when you can get all that on the lowest priced car to offer anti-lock brakes standard, missing this opportunity would be, well, Cavalier from Chevrolet. 
do the classics endure? Why do we turn to them again and again? Maybe because the things we still value were done right. Like Hidden Valley, it was the first ranch made with our authentic original recipe. The way ranch was made to taste. It's not new or improved because we did it right. Hidden Valley, the way ranch is supposed to taste. One more time. I need you to push for me again, okay? And push! Keep breathing, keep breathing. Good, honey. Okay, deep breath, big push. You're almost there, and push. Sliders, relive the adventure with episodes that paved the way for the brand new season coming to the Sci-Fi Channel, Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern. You did good, honey. <laughs> Only on the Sci-Fi Channel. Elder scale. Okay, I'm in the seat. Larry's on the wheel. Press the gas down. Scatter, incoming buck. Have you seen little piggy? There goes the town's diamond broker. <laughs> Ow, what's the matter? I said I'd give you gas money. Huh? See what happens when you don't check your blind spot? Oh no, a spider the size of a Buick's attacking his Buick. I distinctly heard him say. Now, wouldn't you know he's out of wiper fluid? Please, sir, just show me your registration. Who he bequeathed this wet willy I want to see. I hate it when a movie kills off a beloved character. Yeah. This is great, though. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to tell my friends about this. Oh, wait, I'm a friendless drifter. Why can't resist anything near his pants? <laughs> Packers! Woo! Go, Go Packers! Packers! Honey, I'm home. Honey, Packers won the Super Bowl. Woo! Starting to wish the South would rise again and crush the North. Yeah. Uh-oh, his hair started a grease fire. <laughs> you know, guys, I know this makes it all look pretty bad, but there are a lot of good things that come from Wisconsin, like, yeah. you know, fireworks and cheese and, um, and um, fireworks. Um. <laughs> Does Captain Steubing know you dress like that, Vicky? He's been kicking on the side of his geode for hours. <laughs> Oh, I'm off. I'm off. I'm ready. Okay. Bedroom secure. Moving on to panty drawer. <coughs> I'm used to rats and roaches, but this... <coughs> I said no starch. Patrick won the Super Bowl! Yay! Oh, Billy Cass's car just blew up. He's dead? Yep, he sure is. Dead in the doornail. You know, Dave, a lot of strange things are happening around here. Yeah, I know, Dutch. Can I use your phone? Sure. Use my private one in the back. Thanks, Dutch. Okay. Well, that's Dutch. Mm -hmm. This should be the area. For what? I'm not sure. Guy blows up his neck waddles to attract women. <laughs> oh, Phil, I'm only wearing one pantsuit. Don't count here. Well, there has to be something. Well, it's a normal count, nothing dangerous. Mm -hmm. Except the phone's oh. dead. Well, didn't we just do this scene? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think I'm going to go on out there. Okay. Man, he's something. When I was a kid, I never went on out there. I wish I could express my love more openly and freely to my wife. One of this year's most innovative new chefs, Dutch. Bob, call Jack, <laughs> Peter. Want to dance? Listen. Well, at least she'll be wrapped in something. Phil Urbane, movie maker and feminist. Oh, oh, that's Snuffleupagus, no! Well, just when things were really looking up for her. I put on 
too much Indian air. Oh. Just looking for a clean glass here. It actually perks the place up. Any comments from you local shrubbery? You know what might help the scene is if they were in bikini underpants and a halter top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, ma'am, we have the demolition permit right here. I'm sure this is the right place. Dan? Yeah. What was that? It was commerce, tourism, and industry coming together in beautiful Wisconsin. Okay. I married a land surveyor. Well, here comes a Duke of Hazard. Everyone I ever went to high school with. <laughs> I'm sure. Any of you ladybugs have any comments about the spider? Oh, he shot Ben! No, it's spider season and we didn't wear orange. No one hunts out of season in Wisconsin. <laughs> he thought I was bored. Uh, this is one of those prestigious gated communities. Uh, Jim's girl salvage. Ah, greasy guys carrying unconscious girls, comfortable 2 p.m. beer buzz. You home sick yet, Mike? <laughs> His Hagar pants have a waistband with repressed memories. <laughs> Please, consider my legs when cleaning your pipe. <laughs> there goes the last shred of dignity, folks. Barbara Hale and Joey Guy in the Defiant Ones. Thrill as he doesn't reduce speed when approaching Elroy, Danbury, and Toma. Oh, God! You rolled on me! And this is over. They deserve a lot of lionies and deep fried cheese curds and some funnel cake. Nigel Tuffle playing a guitar solo. Got to get to PetSmart to buy a box of enormous flies. This can't be with crap. Billboard for Tommy Bartlett's water show. Room service. Uh, what should I be doing back here? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to. What if they ran into another patient? They'd have to back all the way up. <laughs> the Shroud of Debbie. <laughs> With this music, I'd be wet. Here, Doctor. Thank you. Oh, all hell's broken loose. It's gonna be hard to keep the lid on now. Yeah, we know all about it, Sheriff. Man, I don't know. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh -huh. My yeah. stomach is doing flip-flops. We just brought back what was left of Joe Cooper. He's the Irpy Sheriff with the delicate constitution. Uh, Sheriff, if your stomach can handle it. I'd like to show you my vasectomy scar. We've got a 50-foot spider out there on the loose. 50-foot spider? Actually, yeah, it's yeah. a furry dune buggy. You mean that's what got Joe Cooper? <laughs> Looks like our black hole has turned into an open doorway from hell. Sorry, I mean open doorway from hell. And we're going to have to find a way to close it. God knows how many monsters may come through. And how many have already come through. We better put up snow fences. Doctor, please. What are these gizmos? I found them near the corpse. They're petrified tribbles. You found them where? Near the corpse. That's that new club downtown. Uh, Sheriff, do you mind if we take these and uh, run some tests on them? No, please do. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you have a flare gun we could use? Yes, you can pick one up at the desk sergeant. He's got a couple of flares out there. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. All right. Thank you, fellow Hatfield. We'll keep in touch. Thank you. Boy, problems are hard. Pork vacuum. I mean, Sheriff. Hello. Yes, this is the Sheriff. Sorry, I can only speak in siren. Oh, Davey. I, I thought you were lunch. Didn't recognize your voice. Yes, what is it? Little buddy? Trouble? Lagoon? Is Terry all right? Action phone team. Well, have Doc Oliphant check her, will you? And have him send over a hospital meal. Keep me filled in on everything, <laughs> please. Thanks, Davey. Gee, Davey, keep me filled in on everything. 50-foot spider. Vance, hmm? I'm sorry to take so long, but the lab said it'll take a full two hours to get a report on these. The only thing they said was they'd never seen anything like them. Early breast implants. 
sure like crack them open. Yes, sir, I'm drunk. You don't have time for that. First things first, we've got to find some way to get out there and kill that monster. Oh, how are you going to kill a monster uh, like that? Boom. An alien energy pattern. We haven't even found the impact area of the black hole. Mm-hmm, and that's undoubtedly where the spider's coming from. All right. The energy pattern has to feed off of the gravitational field of the black hole. I can't believe I let you roll on me. Vance, could we soak up the energy? We could feed it so much extra mass, we'd choke it. We can shower it with neutrons. Or we can do the neutron dance. <laughs> neutron <laughs> initiative. You admitted you felt something when I rolled on you. It just might work. you guys this whole thing is freaking me out i mean the idea of each of us being replicated and having to oh hi servo i was just telling these guys ah what the you get out of here mister you're a fake a fake but i am tom servo of fine high quality well i think i like that servo better the crow crow now hold on here now we got to get to the bottom of this now how do i know you're the real servo why, Mike, don't you remember when we did that fun thing together that was so fun that one time? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? No, no, wait a minute, Mike. You and I did a fun thing together once, uh, too, right? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Now, yeah. Hang on, hang on. There's a real easy way to figure this out. Okay. I'll ask a question that only the real servo would know. Yeah. Okay. What condiment did I pour into your sneakers only two weeks ago? Oh, I'm... Um, uh, was it ketchup? Yes! Damn! You are me! Gee, I guess I am a fraud. Now, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go two out of three, okay? Okay, good. What's your confirmation name? Uh, oh. I don't have one. Okay, uh, Mike, we're going to say that we don't have a confirmation name. Yeah, well, uh -huh. good yeah, you're right, actually. Okay, well, let's try one more, though. What do you have in your underwear collection? Ah! Oh, mm. please, you would have to be a total pathetic loser of the lowest quality to have an underwear collection. <laughs> 342 pairs of cotton boxers, no duplicates, 78 pairs of silk boxers, 702 pairs of high-cut briefs, 55 pairs of low-cut briefs, 7 banana warmers, 1 pair of Home of the Whopper brief, 1 vintage pair of Joe Namath netted slingshot brief prototype. <laughs> ah, loser, loser, I won. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know why we need any servo at all, Mike. Man knows his underwear. We'll be right back. To complete a mission of mercy, you're gonna have to put the girl off. Murder is required. Going out that door. Bill Campbell tries to solve the cold equations on Sci Fi Cinematic Saturdays. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. This is my morning commute. This is my idea of personal growth. This is how we make a big splash. And there's just one place to find it all Pier One. Pier One. Pier One. Pier One Imports. Make it your favorite store. Think you're getting the best shave? Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. We bet you can't find a closer, safer shave than Sensor Excel. No other razor has Sensor Excel soft micro fins for extra protection and self-adjusting blades for extra closeness. Take the Sensor Excel Challenge. Once you experience the safest way to the closest shave, we bet you won't go back. Gillette Sensor Excel. It's time to discover cars and trucks you may not have thought about before. The 1998 Oldsmobiles at Discover Days. Test drive the intrigue. The sports sedan car and driver magazine shows over Camry and Taurus. Experience this blend of sophistication and sportiness yourself with a limited time offer of 1.9 financing. There's never been a better time to come in for a test drive. Discover Days with incredible 1.9 financing on all Oldsmobiles. At your local Oldsmobile dealer now. I'm a pretty big guy. Hey, 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 all right, a really big guy. So do you think this store is going to have those great looking clothes in my size? No way. So I shop at home with the king size catalog. It's just for big and tall guys. Lots of good looking clothes, good prices, and convenient. Just pick up the phone and call. Need jackets or jeans that really fit? King size has a great selection of styles and colors. How about clothes for work? They're all in here. Are you sure it's always too short, waist too tight? The king size catalog always has the perfect fit. It's got everything we big guys need. Give it a shot. 
If you're a big or tall guy, write down that number. Give us a call for your free catalog. Every item is guaranteed for quality and fit. King size, the perfect fit. So now, everybody in America knows my size. What's up? I want you to fly me a Caltech Are we supposed to be able to hear this? Right away. No. Well, that's a pretty stiff order. See, and city I managers deal something. with traffic issues. I think there's one in Madison. Tell them to load it with a 600 gram charge and set the pattern at 360 degrees. My chopper will pick it up at the airport. All right. If it doesn't work, then old buddy, we got company for dinner. Three hours. A three hour drive. Right. Well, it sounds like just a ticket. Um, tell me, how does one of those gizmos work? Sandwiches dipped in batter and then deep fried? Huh? What the? Are supposed to yeah, know who sure. he's talking to? I mean, huh? Hello? Hello? Uh, movie? Movie? Yoo-hoo! Uh, movie! Over here. Right here. Uh, Hello? Uh, all right. Thanks, Vance. Wow. Well, these are the famous scenes that Alan Hale improvised. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Hale literally phoned in his role. I have to tell you, you know what happened to the Kestis. Now, the spider's nest is somewhere on the Kestis ranch. We all have guns. When we leave here, we're going to pick up all the relatives, friends, neighbors, anybody we can find. And we're going to go out to the Kestis farm, and we're going to destroy that spider. So come on, let's go. Put down those pull tabs, man. We have work to do. <laughs> Our crumb is leading them. For Grandma Shmikar. Let's just kill each other. What if my friends don't have relatives? Packers! Packers! Don't you troublemaker. I'm trying to tell you to knock it off. Now everybody go home. We're not going to get it like Jenny Cameron got it. It's a stack it up. Oh, you knock it off. All right, let's go. Come on. Wait a minute. We can't hunt. We're not drunk enough yet. Packers! Please, if you all just go back to your drinking. Oh, just... Wang Chung tonight. <laughs> Old Milwaukee coming out of there. <laughs> just swing us till we die. Ride the vomit rainbow. Swirling fans of Technicolia on splayed across the sky. Hopefully we'll work up enough speed to launch us into Minnesota and start a real life. <laughs> it's been an hour. Please let us down. You know, carnies are actually the most respected citizens of this town. Mm -hmm. cock, cock. It's suicide days in New Richmond. I want to go pet the wounded goat. <laughs> you sure this is as fast as this thing can go? Back! It's milling around days. <laughs> Alliance Club medium rare chicken booth. Free range and beer fed. Basted with sun brewed mayonnaise. Mm. Oh, this fair days is fun this year. Nom, 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 nom. This is where you'd find a crocheted beer fed. How sweet it is! And he scores 78 to 5 in the bottom of the third inning. Packers won their Super Bowl! Packers! Yeah. Previously owned cheese curds are on sale! Ooh, he stood up. He's got to get hazard pay for this. I think I had a hot dog in here once. <laughs> you can do a one-man show playing Queen Victoria. Hello. Yeah, this is the sheriff. You discovered a new kind of meat? Why? Pork gravy from a can. In Gleason? Does Jackie mind? Are you sure they're headed this way? Did they bring a dish to pass? Okay. It's a cheese-fueled mob frenzy. Welcome to Beer Hall Butch Days. Oh, oh John Malkovich. Hello, operator. Where's Gleason? Give me the National Guard headquarters in Madison. When snowmobilers drive cars. <laughs> I know, you really can't blame the spider for that. No. Come on. Too late. Insurgents overthrew the Baraboo regime. 
hat trick. There's them organs. We didn't put them on ice. I hope that's okay. Here, take some zucchini. We had so much this year. Uh, by the way, this is Wisconsin's National Guard. Huh. Audiences won't soon forget when the thing we didn't know what it was was put in the helicopter by the guy we didn't know. Are we dead, Mike? Now, Bain was filming night for night here, wasn't he? Look, honey, it's already happening. It's doctor, honey, to you. Oh, no, it's a fish boil. <laughs> we don't need to put our nuclear waste in a cast. Dark? It's not dark, Rabain declared. Visual for a movie? Who needs them? And somewhere in the world, a helicopter exists. <laughs> Lord knows how many of those things are around here. Just take it easy. Let's see when I go up to Rhinelander and roll on each other. Oh, look at this stuff. When grandma's ghosts be lunking. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? falling on me. Oh, my God. Oh, God, another one. Huh? Let's go have a nice dinner at the Goblin. Oh, it's a... Huh? Robert McNamara escalates the war on Gleason. Can we roll the rest of the way to the car? <laughs> Emergency. I'm winded and I'm very moist. Pass me through to the sheriff. Maybe if I kill myself like Hemingway, people will remember me fondly. That'll be my ship down at Skipper. Rebane and Hale, like Scorsese and De Niro. Hello. Yeah, Vance. I'm sitting. The spiders are all over in Gleason, just a few miles away. I'll drive my lark there. <laughs> yes. I've called for the National Guard. But he's not in. The mobs are beginning to gather, and they're getting out of hand. Look, get somebody out here. I just found another body or what's left of one. And for God's sake, keep that mob away from here. It's more of a mob let, not a light throng. You know, the mob demands Whoopi John. So oh, they're really giving over to mob mentality to stand around and mingle. The margarine riot of 1974. Free Bobby Seal! Free Mumia! Free beer! Come on now, Judge, I want you to get out of here. Oh, they're toughening GED standards. No fair! Boo! Packers! Packers! I've got a man from NASA and he knows what he's doing. Clint, look at the back of the Packers! Boo! We'll handle it ourselves. Come on! U.S. out of North America! And Packers! Boo! No more schools, more hockey arenas, more Packers! Packers! Well, got hit by the monster. The crowd's getting out of hand. I can't control them. They're hell-bent on destroying that beast. We're hell-bent. you ever see the movie Jaws? Well, it makes that shark look like a goldfish. I know, I know. Oh, it's, it's a better movie. Try to keep them there as long as you can. We're setting up the lights around here, and the bomb's on its way. And try to keep the spider there. You can't do anything with a spider. Bullets don't hurt it. The only thing I've got to stop him here with is a traffic light. Sheriff, at least try. This baby earp on his shoulder. Mm. Okay, forget it, spider. You in. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm down here all by myself. Call the National Guard back. Tell him we need some heavy equipment. Where is murder? Violence erupted when Dave Dudley canceled his appearance in Gleason. I'm heading over to Taco John's till this blows over. You know what I used to hate about hairspray? Everything, especially the stiff, sticky feel. You know what I love about new Pro-V Flexible Hold? Everything. Now that stiff, sticky feel most hairsprays leave behind, history. That's the brilliance of Elastess, Pantene's revolutionary new holding ingredient. You get natural, touchable, flexible hold. All the hold you need, plus a healthy new feel you'll love. 
New Pantene Pro V Flexible Hold for hair so healthy it shines. It'll change the way you feel about hairspray. Today there are more heartburn medicines than ever before. How do you choose? Simple. Choose the one that pharmacists recommend most, Pepsid AC. Today, they recommend Pepsid AC 2 to 1 over Zantec 75. In fact, they recommend it more than Zantec 75, Maalox, and Tums combined. But don't take my word for it. Ask your pharmacist which one's right for you. You can be heartburn free with Pepsid AC. It's time to discover cars and trucks you may not have thought about before. The 1998 Oldsmobiles at Discover Days. Consider the Cutlass, winner of the AAA Top Car Award. Or the 88, voted a Best Buy eight years straight by Consumer's Digest. Right now, they're both available for a limited time with 1.9 financing. Discover Days with incredible 1.9 financing on all Oldsmobiles. At your local Oldsmobile dealer now. This week on Sci-Fi Cinematic Saturdays, a voyage destined for disaster. Collision imminent. Where women and children are last trapped in space. Then, to complete a mission of mercy, you're gonna have to put the girl off. Murder is required. I'm not the one going out that door. The Cold Equations. C2 back-to-back sci-fi movies on Sci-Fi Cinematic Saturdays. Coming up next. Just honk at it, honey. Mm. <laughs> Give my ham waterfall sign to my son. <gasps> Dutch! Oh, Dutch. Too many jello shots. No more tainted meat sandwiches. Dutch. Is there a verse in the Bible that tells us when the end of this movie is near? <laughs> Somehow this will all tie back to the yellow backers. Backers. Backers? Uh, Mr. Rabain, you really can't see anything. Look, just shut up and keep shooting, Mr. NYU film pants. You know, that, that big one is like a, a mother queen bee. Yes, and she's activated all the spiders in this whole area. Yeah, you think the smaller ones will grow to be giants? Well, it could be unless that neutron gadget works. I wish that chopper would get here. Here comes somebody now. Why, it's Barney. You gotta nip it in the bud, Andy. Well, now what? My emergency shipment of Lucky Strikes. Man, why? That big one, I was just going up on the highway. It's cutting through the woods and it's heading this direction. Mm, these are just the drunks. They haven't even gotten to the wounded yet. The VW in Chenille. <laughs> I understand you can repair these giant spiders yourself. Oh, yeah. Here comes the chopper now. It's a vegetable chopper, though. Can you patch me through? Sure, right. man. <laughs> Is this going to be another case of a scientist declaring martial law? Yeah, I think John Agar went on. Kane, this is Vance. Kane, this is Vance. Use your spotlight as a target and drop the gadget. No. Tell me to land and give you the trigger. Hell no. Sorry, just ask now him. look. I'm gonna fire a flare and you pull the trigger. No. Okay. Follow it. Come He's on. dressed like an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> if you see only 10,000 movies this year, make sure this isn't one of them. Soon Hitler's giant mechanical spiders had pushed past the Maginot line. Jenny. Yeah. I forgot the flares. Where are the briefcase? Would you get them? I'll get them. On the way to shoot the flares, I forgot them. A brilliant plot device, forgetting to do a simple errand. <laughs> now, these spiders have lousy heaters, though. We gotta keep her out of that black hole so we make the drop. Okay, I'm gonna try. Good boy. <laughs> Bigfoot in business casual. Spiders may have a heart attack from eating so many cheese heads. Job walk out of danger. Ah, long line is really cutting into me. Might as well get my Paul Malls while I'm here. God, I hate paperwork. Hey, 
fighter, you have a ball hit, and I just bust it. I'm the twin brother of Dutch, the man you murdered. <laughs> Remember, I mate, then I kill. I'm gonna squash your shoe under me. Bad spider, sit, bad. This man is a brave, brave character we've never seen before. <laughs> Normally, I stop people at my butt, but in your case, I'll let you come in the front way. Well, another spider is going to have to come along and give the guy a boost up. Oh, boy, he's carrying him like a loaf of bread. Well, then he dropped <laughs> him at the ten-yard line. I injected a paralyzing toxin into the sheriff, but I did not inject a paralyzing toxin into the deputy. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, he bit right into the guy's fountain pen. And yet, Bill Rabane escapes unharmed. Oh, crap, my shoe. Bear! Bear! <laughs> You'll go wow. Tobacco. We're making a movie here, you damn migrant workers. <laughs> Get out. Get funky. Ah, the firework. And the blast was felt yards away. The first extremely tentative atomic test at Elma Gordon. Uh huh? What? <laughs> Sorry. I am Death, destroyer of lawns. Spider must have been really wet. I can't. <laughs> but I came with knowledge for a cheap, clean alternative to fossil fuel. Remember, don't put your spider in the microwave if you're wrapping in tin foil. No. Oh. Ah, they need a bucket. It came from Planet Gross Out. No, I ate too much ice cream. Spider needs a Zantac. Alan Hale digests a kielbasa. <laughs> I guess somebody tampered in God's domain or something. Are you, are you sheriff? Remember, don't buy margarine, only creamery butter. Yeah, yeah. Exodus, the heavens opened up and deluged the land with flies, frogs, lice, and locusts. Mm -hmm. It happened before and it will happen again. And now we'll pass the collection plate. Uh, guys, I think we're deep into film student territory here. And Andrea Schaff begat Kevin Brody, who begat Alan Rabain. I think the problem was there weren't enough Rabains in this movie. The Brody to Rabane ratio is a little rich. Mm -hmm. Buck Gillette. What if Buck Gillette were the best a man could get? You know, when Barbara Hale won her Oscar for this, she made a touching speech where she said, in effect, Bang! <laughs> the filmmaker gratefully acknowledges the cooperation of the Goths, the G. Heileman Brewing Company, the Doughboy Corporation, Ford Howard Toilet Paper, Blockman's Mustard Company, the Bodines, the American Dairy Association, and the Wisconsin Chapter of Wisconsin Dairy Farmers, and the Violent Times. So, like this film had a worldwide release. <laughs> Dedicated to the memory of Crazy Legs, Elroy Hirsch. Go Packers. <laughs> Oh, oh, Crow, thank goodness it's you. Hey, I think it's just you and me. I think we're the only normal ones left. No! Oh, my God! Bobo, we have to do something. Please tell me you're not a pod. Oh, 
Oh, me? No. Everyone else is down here, not me. You want to know why not me? Because the monkey isn't good enough. Again! Should we assimilate the monkey? No. The monkey's got a red butt. Stupid monkey's got a red butt. Does the monkey want a banana? It takes its toll, Mike. <laughs> Please forget about all that. Look, the universe is in peril, and you have to save it. Now, the way I figure it, there's got to be a mother pod down there somewhere. Ow! Jeez! What? Oh, me save the galaxy? Ha! Mike, I'm a stupid monkey. I might as well admit it. I mean, I do have a red butt. Let's face that. You ever seen my butt? Here, take a good look at my butt. I mean, just get me. No, no, Bobo, listen to me. You can do... Hold on a second. Just, just, just see, see, Bob, see, see, go. Listen to me. You've got to find the mother pod and destroy it. You can do it. You are a magnificent mountain gorilla. You are Bobo, son of Coco. Yes, and heir to the great lineage of Godo, Mogo, and Tim Tim. Now, where's that mother pod? Oh, oh, my gosh, the secret egg! Oh, 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 Mike, you okay? Mike, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. How about you? Well, we're okay, too. <laughs> they had us locked up. Yeah. Ah, oh, you big lug. <laughs> all I can say is... Stop! Ah! Oh! I was kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I guess we just got to get the dried husks of our jeeple gangers out of here, huh? Back to you, Bobo. <laughs> Oh, lawgiver, I saved you. I'm so glad to see you. Bobo, get your paws off me. Have you been drinking? No, no, no. Look, see, here's, here's dead you, you and, and, and observer, here's dead pod you. You oh. see, all the time they were watching the movie, you were a pod. I saved you and the whole galaxy. Aren't you proud? You mean they watched the movie and oh. I didn't get to watch them watching the movie? Uh -oh. uh, Bobo, get rid of my body. Oh. Brain guy, send yes. them the movie. Again. <laughs> movie side again! Produced in association with the Sci-Fi Channel. This Irwin Allen memory is brought to you by Shell. What would happen is one of the prop guys would hit the bucket. When you heard the bucket being hit with his big spoon or whatever, the camera would tilt to the right, and then you go falling over to the left. And then when you heard the crash again, you went the other way and the camera went the other way. I mean, we became experts on doing the rock and roll, the sea view rock and roll. What if there were shortcuts only you knew about? Shell, where it's easy to pay, pump, and go. Shell, moving at the speed of life.
week on Sci-Fi Cinematic Saturdays. A voyage destined for disaster. Collision imminent. Where women and children are last trapped in space. Then, to complete a mission of mercy, you're gonna have to put the girl off. Murder is required. I'm not the one going out there. The Cold Equations. Two back-to-back -back sci fi movies start right now with Trapped in Space on Sci Fi Cinematic Saturdays. Interstar cargo, a useful bit here about current interpretation of the statute of limitations. Nitrogen. Make a note of it when you get this log transmit. Course correction burn, 0 0.032 seconds. Course corrected. Fuel reserve. expand on this research. I don't intend to spend one minute longer than I have to on this miserable cargo scow. I want my name clear, understand? But if you can't hack it, I'll find myself an attorney who can. God, I'm good. God, you're vain. If you're going to start telling the truth, you may not be invited back. <laughs> breaking my heart. What are you doing? I'm having a cigarette. You know I hate when you smoke. I know. some company? Not really. Oh. I don't care how much those passengers want. Pay them off. Get rid of them. I can't have them giving testimony on the company's behalf. Oh, by the way, make sure that my side of the story is leaked to the right members of the press. I'll send along exactly what I want you to say. <laughs> 